Clayton, I have to say, I am a big fan. You are? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I've never met anyone who does what you do. And just because of that, I'm a fan. I'm like, I went to your website, dude, and I was, I was going through your website. I'm like, wow, where do you find the energy? Okay, no, first question. How do you know when there's a big celebrity in town? It all depends. I mean, I've been doing this for 13 years, and um, you kind of meet some nice, kind people along the way that will give you tip-offs, and um, they'll send you SMSs, or now that I've got my own website via Facebook, or they'll email me and say, hey, you the dude that collects autographs, here's a tip-off, um, this one's going to be down, you should get to that spot. And yeah, people just love doing that, and that's awesome. Who would you uh, say is the, the biggest stars in South Africa? In South Africa, uh, you've you got to love the ones that provide the entertainment, like your Kani and Bows, um, Cooley Roberts, the one, that, the one, the celebs that always hit the headlines and then just make it work. Um, for me, they're fun to watch and just get their lives out in the press, yeah. I mean, do you take it that personal though when, when a celebrity turns you down? Um, not quite, because I th for me, collecting autographs, it's all about getting a piece of the star. So uh, it's not about, there's a psycho obsession of who they are, it's just about trying to get the most collected autographs in total. But I think it's the demeanor of how they let you down that I take personal more than the fact of they're letting you down. Yeah. Okay, alright. And, and now tell us, uh, how, what's the best way to approach celebrities? There must be a certain thing that you do. It's all about using charm and charisma and being sincere. I think the more authentic you are and if you're really a true fan, you also know how to compose yourself because from the experiences I've had, celebrities don't like screaming fans like coming up in their faces and being all pushy and showy. Mm. It's about getting the right approach and saying, excuse me, sir, do you mind if I take a photo or could I have an autograph? And the more polite you are, I think you're likely to get uh, a much better response that, from them. That's exactly it. I mean, and I think I spoke about it yesterday. Roger Taylor, the drummer from Queen, lives in Cape Town quite a lot. And I saw him at a uh, bar in Long Street, and my buddy's a drummer, mm. and he's too shy. I just went, hello, sir, love your music, can we have a photo? Ended up having a tequila with the guy because we were polite. Yeah. There we go, there we go. That's exactly what you should do. And I think people, because you either don't see the person in everyday life too much, obviously, like for me, if I see someone big walking down the street, you want to get the autograph. That's the mission. It's that adrenaline rush. But you've got to be composed when you're doing that because you may just, you know, turn the celebrity the other way. Yeah. Oh, what's your website called again? It's Um It's basically chronicling all my uh, autograph adventures and people that I've, meet, um, I've met and who I still meet uh, these days and, and just interviews I've done with celebrities. Yeah. What's some of the weirdest stuff that's happened in your escapades of finding <laughs> celebrities? Well, um, one of, it's not as hectic, but it, uh, it was quite good for four days. I stalked, literally, I could officially <laughs> say I stalked um, Mariah Carey when she was last year in Cape Town uh, for the opening of the One and Only Hotel. And the reason why I did that is because I've been a fan of her since I was five, and she was the number one person I've always wanted to meet. Okay. And yeah, I got a photo and an autograph from Mariah, and that was, I mean, today, it's, I don't think anyone is going to top that, even if I meet Oprah or anyone else. For me, that's huge. I just, sorry, I just, just wanted to know, did you manage to get Justin Bieber's? Unfortunately not. I did try stalking. Um, I found he was at Caprice. <laughs> he was, I went there, and he, I missed him. I know he was staying at the one and only. I spent three hours there. Trying wow, to eat dude. something. Drinking and, coffee. <laughs> yeah. And water and muffins <laughs> and everything else. But unfortunately not. I was the one of the few people that didn't get uh, any luck with Bieber. I, I do know that he's met obviously quite a few, few girls because the teen girls were quite a hit with him and he took quite a bit of photos. He went surfing all over and he did a lot of the hot spots wow. in Cape Town. All right. We're talking to Clayton Mariah. He is uh, the biggest celebrity expert in South Africa. Uh, I mean, this guy has uh, accumulated over 5,000 autographs yeah. from stars from all over and uh, <laughs> wow three hours just waiting to 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 get an autograph yeah you pretty much got to do what you have to do to get it I mean it's uh, it's all about like I said patience it's timing it's the approach it's everything it's not just one sort of factor all right well, lastly what are you what are you hoping to achieve what what's your what's your goal with this I'd like to uh, get into the Guinness Book of World Records for to having collected or amassed the most amount of autographs. There's no official record at the moment, but I do know of autograph collectors who have over 10 and 12,000 overseas. It's quite a big thing wow. in Europe and America because there you have autograph dealers and, I mean, Hollywood is where everybody's at, so yeah. there's, there's tons more collectors there, but that's something I'm trying to achieve. 